VidIQ is an awesome tool and in this video I'm going to show you guys a creative way that you can use VidIQ that most people don't talk about. So a lot of YouTubers start off posting videos and just getting videos out because that's the common advice on YouTube right now just to start posting videos and they never sit down and come up with an intelligent design for where they actually want to take their channel and they never think about what the end game is. So they start making videos and they may like the videos or they're like, hey, I'm making videos about the topics I want to create videos around and I'm starting to grow my audience a little bit, but I still don't understand exactly what my niche is. And so this is a little trick that I use vidIQ for to help me or to help anyone find their niche. And so all you want to do is come to the keywords tab right here and then click on that. And then vidIQ is going to tell you based on your account once you're connected your YouTube channel to vidIQ, what the top keywords are for your account. But that's not what we want to do. What you actually want to do is come here to the search keywords and you want to type in the actual YouTube channel name. And so mine is my name is Corey McLean. And so I'm going to type it in and you will simply type in whatever your YouTube channel name is. Fits that typo. And then what it's going to do is pull up all of the keywords right here and uh, ranking and so forth. But you don't want to go to matching terms. You want to come here and you want to go to related keywords. And so now that I'm on related keywords, I have a list of keywords that are associated with my YouTube channel. And so I can look at this and sort them by overall. And I can see Facebook Reels monetization, Facebook professional mode, how to get the performance bonus. And so I can see that all of this is very relevant. So the next thing you want to do is tap this box next to keyword. And then you want to come and copy the 51 tags. The next step you want to do is you want to go to chat GPT, start a new chat. And then you want to just tell chat GPT, analyze these keywords, period. Give me a list of possible niches my YouTube channel could be in. Colon. Well, it was supposed to put a colon there. Let's just put the colon. And then you want to paste them. And I use Command V or Control V. And then you want to send this over to ChatGPT. And okay. Hit the edit button. And then uh, let me copy all of this. My session timed out. So if your session times out, you just refresh your browser. Uh, it's going to come back and then I come here, command V and then I hit enter again. And so now it's going to give me my output. So based on the keywords you provided, here are some possible niches for your YouTube channel. And so Facebook professional mode, Facebook reels, bonus, YouTube subscribers, Facebook performance bonus, content creation, high school football, Florida Gators football, Facebook hackers, Corey McLean, videos that feature Corey McLean, who may be okay overall. You may need to narrow down your focus on your interest skills. Let's ask it, what do all of these topics have in common? What do all of these topics have in common? The topics mentioned in the previous answer don't have a single common theme. They are a mixture of different niches and interests based on the keywords provided. However, some of the topics may fall under the general umbrella of social media marketing and content creation. And so right there, we see that my niche can be so social media marketing and or and or content creation. And so that is a very helpful way for you to use vidIQ to find keywords associated with your channel and then to use chat GPT to actually find your YouTube channel niche.